Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So today we have a Scrawler box unboxing which is like coming straight out of the box so I think it's got some good stuff in it. Well let's hope so. <laughs> Here we go. Right so right off the bat I can already see there's an artist eraser. I got a green one. Let's move these to the side. We have Scrawler zine, which we'll read in a second. We've got a landscape or something by Julie Avisa. I think that's how you pronounce it. Then we have some drawing paper, 250 GSM smooth white, 10 sheets, Scrawler box edition. Very nice. Always love to have a big pad like this. <laughs> right, let's open it. What could it be? Ooh! So this is the sticker, which I really like. Very nice. We have a spearmint. Come on, camera. Just trying to focus. I won't be eating that. We have the prompt: "Where rivers flow." We have a Stapler Mars Lumograph Pencil in 5B. A Blending Stump, which is plain. That's strange, I've never seen a plain one. A Cocktail Stick. <laughs> and Oil Pastels. Mm. really a fan of oil pastels but we'll see we'll see I will not judge I will not judge oh my look at this and we even get some oil pastel sheets that as well as like a pad of paper wow we're getting some I don't know what the saying is I can't remember bang for your book or something I don't know <laughs> tell me in the comments but yeah we have some Sennelia oil pastel paints. Wow. Okay, this might be really exciting, <laughs> but let's have a look at the zine. Okay, so with all my Scrawler Box um, unboxings, I like to go through the zine. So we have a list of the supplies. They sit down with the artist. Oh my God, look at this. Her work looks really cool. It's kind of like landscapes and trees forest stuff. Very nice. Then we have some scrawler tips which I'm gonna have to read because I don't really know much about oil pastels. This is the scrawler gallery from last session. Let's see if we can see anybody. Oh look at that! We have Carmel, one of my arty friends. And yeah I don't think I know anybody else. Congratulations Carmel on making it into the zine. The magic of oil pastels. And a little bit behind the artwork as well. So that is the zine. Now what I think we should do is swatch the supplies. Okay, I think I'm gonna do things a little bit differently, di differently this time around for this scrawler box because I'm not very experienced in oil pastels. So I think I'm gonna have to go away practice and have this be a separate video on its own like um, like some other artists do what we'll do is we'll zoom in a little bit and we'll swatch these colours and see what we can do with them oh camera's like really struggling so this is the oil pastels sheets 300 gsm paper Oh, it's like butter. It's like butter, but it takes like big chunks out. So I'll probably just swatch them all. And we'll have a look. Oh, this feels so good on the paper. And then we'll try mixing them. 
there we have a white I don't know if that's going to show up probably not and then a black oh black colour so let's have a look this one is they don't have names they don't they don't have names so I'm just going to write it down yellow I'll put ochre because I don't know how you spell it <laughs> uh, green and blue white and black this pencil is really nice I don't think I'm going to try this rubber. I have a thing of not opening rubbers when I already have some, so I'm going to save this. I'm guessing this is for picking out details. Is it? No idea what that's for. I'll read it on here. Wooden scratcher. This handy wooden stylus scratcher is fantastic for creating texture in your artwork. Yeah, can't really see it though. <laughs> Alright, let's try, let's try blending. See what that looks like. So, I don't know if that's making a difference. Maybe it is, maybe it's not. Could be. Oh, I'm going to make such a mess. <laughs> Um, let's try green and blue. Don't know if green and blue make anything. Ooh, they do blend. Look at that. Very nice. I feel like you could burn through these pencils, these oil pastels, very quickly. Let's put a bit of yellow in there. See if we can get a brighter green. Oh, that's perfect. These blend so well. And let's see if white can do anything. Yes, some nice white clouds. And I'm not going to use black for blending. But what we're going to do is go into automatic and let's have a look so that's where it looks like on the oil pastel sheets paper very very nice very good now I might be swayed into thinking that oil pastels are really good <laughs> and they probably are the ones I used are probably like not as good so this is the the drawing sheet and what we'll do is we will test it on here as well. And so far, it's going down like butter again. I don't know if you can see that, I'll zoom in a little bit more. We have blue. Let's do blue and yellow, shall we? And I'm going to use this blending stump to see if that will make a difference. Oh my god, yes. Well, it's picking it up. But it's also taking bits of the stuff as well. Let's test the pencil. Yep. Well, I must say, I'm very impressed with this box so far. I think what I am going to do is I'm going to put these back in here <laughs> like this and I'm going to go away for a little bit probably have some lunch wash my hands and I'm going to try and make something with them <laughs> all right I'll be back Hey guys and welcome back to another video. So it's the scrawler box time. I did tell you in the previous video that it was coming up this week so we have an extra video for you. So thumbs up if you enjoy these scrawler box videos. They are very much fun to make. So this month is the August boxed... <laughs> boxed? <laughs> August box and yeah uh, so I'm gonna go through the supplies, let you know how much they cost 
see if we're getting our money's worth and all that jazz and I'll talk a little bit about the piece that I created as well so here we go it says August 22 take yourself mentally or physically to a place where rivers flow woodlands flourish and valleys meet this month's box is inspired by our, by our featured artist's love for exploring the beauty of the great outdoors play about with sweeping scraping and scribbling your pastels to form tactile textures and fine details to your artwork so the prompt list was where rivers flow i didn't do that for this piece here this was just a practice piece i will come back and make another video based on the scrawler challenge i think that is what i'm going to do because i have no clue how to use oil pastels as you can tell in this video so far so yeah what was included was the Sennelia oil pastels six we got white black yellow gold yellow ochre charcoal blue and light green and it says here these highly pigmented artist grade oil pastels are made with top quality mineral and organic pigments mixed they offer a smooth and creamy texture with high coverage and they can be applied to a variety of different surfaces included canvas paper metal wood stone and even glass wow and this set it retails for £12.95 then we have the Staedtler Lumograph 5B pencil this premium quality pencil is ideal for all your drawing writing and sketching needs features super blonded bonded blonded <laughs> it's not blonde uh, bonded lead which makes it particularly break resistance and it retails for £1.85 next up we have the scrawler box drawing paper a5 pad 250 GSM 10 pages this super smooth crisp wipe card the perfect base for your oil pastels and it retails for 2 dollars now they actually included five extra oil pastel sheets but they've not put the information on the card so yeah I feel like we're getting such better quality now that the price has increased for scroll box let me know in the comments down below if you think the same but yeah i feel like this box was jam-packed full of stuff and yeah so we got Derwin artist eraser i didn't end up using this um because i have a thing about starting erasers that are like brand new and i've not finished them if that makes sense but anyway it says this is a high performance non-abrasive specialist artist eraser from Derwent an ideal pairing with the 5B pencil and it retails for £3.49 now the most bizarre thing that we got in this box was wooden stylus scratcher or as we like to call them cocktail sticks <laughs> well it kind of looked like a cocktail stick anyway this handy wooden stylus scratcher is fantastic for creating texture in your artwork sanded smooth and polished for safe use so no need to worry about splinters and it retails for 50 pence and the last thing that was included was the double ended blending stump now we have seen a lot of these around we did get one in our charcoal scroller box which i think was last year in november possibly but anyway it says another convenient little tool to use with your oil pastels designed to help you create seamless transitions and blends without having to use your fingers and it retails for £1.29 and that is everything that was included in this box as I say my piece uh, wasn't the best I have no idea how to use oil pastels so I'm going to do a lot of research watch a lot of YouTube videos and I will come back and make another video <laughs> and uh, hopefully come up with something really cool for the prompt okay so <laughs> here's my like finished first ever attempt at like oil pa oil pastels it's very messy um, it's not perfect it's not great I have a lot to learn about these supplies and how to clean them properly um, hopefully there's some tips or if anybody knows but yeah <laughs> Yeah, alright, 
Well, I'm just going to say thank you so much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, please leave a like, comment below what you think, share with your friends, subscribe for more. And I'll see you next time with another video. And I will come back to this scroller challenge and try again with these supplies. But until then, I hope you have a great time. Um, I mean, day. Okay. <laughs> Alright, bye-bye.